strange bedfellow. This is a quick video to show you how to do this. So, for... Okay, it's still recording. Good. So, I'm assuming that you have um, Windows Defender. If you don't, let me know. So, what we gotta do is we gotta add a folder exception. Folder exception in Windows Defender means that it will not... Ugh, it will not... Um, scan that. So if you notice I have downloads and I have Steam. We're going to exclude another folder. Uh, you do all this before you install the program by the way. So I'm going to exclude, I already have a folder called security programs. I recommend you make one. It makes life easier. And I also don't recommend never exclude like the root folder in Windows. You will have issues. It is a very bad idea. So I have security programs excluded. It will not be scanned now. And since it won't be scanned, we can go install Kane to that location. So CA setup. Run it. Check that. Okay, it's still running. Good. Next, we're going to browse to where we're installing it. We're installing it to whatever folder we named, installing it to security programs, Kane, OK, next, 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 it installs it, we're going to finish, we're going to install the WinCap driver, OK, well it says this version of Windows is not supported, I haven't noticed any issues with it, personally. So we're going to open file location, we're going to go to driver, we're going to double click on this, open it, then we're going to force the install. So it is installed. Voila! There we go. So that's how you exclude a folder file in Windows 10, and that's how you get Kane enable working. Pretty simple. Let me know if you have any questions.